Hi, this is Kat, and today I have again these red high heels. These are some very, very, very beautiful high heels. And yes, they look shiny, but they definitely, definitely, definitely need some shine and color. And let me show you the soles. Yeah, you can see the soles. Yep, a little bit worn and stained. But I brought them to El Buki, Tomás El Buki, and I'm so excited to get them shine. And today I'm in the neighborhood San Rafael in Mexico City. And yeah, just so excited to show you finally a Shushan video here. Okay, so let's get a heel shine. Yeah, heel shine this time. <laughs> Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, señor Tomás. ¿Cómo Buenos está? Días. ¿Qué tal? Hace Buenos mucho tiempo días. de no verlo. Pues aquí andamos. Ah, qué aquí bueno. Gracias. Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por estas zapatillas? 30 pesos. ¿30? Va, gracias. Sí. A ver, vamos a empezar.
Muchas gracias, señor Tomás. Cuídese, hasta luego. Igualmente, hasta luego. Gracias. Let me show you the amazing and shiny result on these high heels. I think they're looking so colorful and rich and the color is so uniform and yeah, even the tips look great. Have a look at that. And I'm just so happy I brought them to shine with Tomás El Buki. Let me know in the comments, please, what you think about this heel shine and if you would like another video with El Buki. Well, in the description, you can find the location of the neighborhood where Tomás works. Also, my Instagram account, in case you want to follow me. My PayPal account, if you want to contribute some shoes or heels to this channel. My Patreon, where I'll be uploading more extra content and behind the cameras. Thank you so much to my patrons, it really means a lot to me that we're creating this amazing community. Well, I hope you liked this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye! Let me show you the area where El Buki works. As you can see, it's so residential and you can actually feel like the barrio, the neighborhood experience because it's residential, you know, it's quiet, it's like locals live here, you know, people know each other. And I guess that would be the the meaning of barrio in Spanish. Um, when there is a community that know each other and support each other and, you know, they take care of each other. So I really like this neighborhood, to be honest. It's, it's really well located and, and quiet and calm and safe. You can see here so many buildings and a big building here. And yeah, I'm just, Walking a little bit here, you know, so I'll, I'll show you a bit of the area. Sorry if my, if my voice sounds a little bit um, <clears throat> like that, but um, it's just that I'm very thirsty right now. I'm gonna find a place to have a coffee maybe, and something like that. And you can see that in this neighborhood there are some corners. I don't know if I've said it before, but there are some corners like this one. So it's like, you know, like the corner was cut. So that is called Esquina Ochavadas because it is like in the shape of an octagon. And so we have one, let's say two, three, four, uh, five, six, eight. So, yeah, and I really like how it creates some spaces in some cities or in some parts of the neighborhood you find like plants here and, you know, furniture, urban furniture, but in others it's just like for parking, as we can see here. But I really like having the uh, chance to cross without um, being scared of that a car is coming. So, because you're walking from here and then you immediately see the car and, you know, and cross. I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly, but I'm very thirsty. Okay, take care, bye.